Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I'm here with another video, and this is a follow-up video from the air of downgrading your iPod Touch from 3. Point, or from 4.1 to 4.0 or 3.1.3, 3.1.2, any of those firmwares. And I think I found out what my problem was, which is probably most of your problem too. What you have to do is you're going to have to find your SHSH blob from Cydia for 3.1.2, which I did not do. I, I didn't save it, so I couldn't find it. And I'll show you guys how to find it if you do say you'd saved it. But I'll show you on 4.1. About 4.1 firmware. Alright, settings. Back out. Okay, now... Now that, see I'm on 4.1, well I can downgrade to 4.0 because I did save it for 4.0. I do have my SHSH blob for that. But I'll show you how to find your SHSH blob by uh, using an application called Tiny Umbrella. I'll have the download link in the description down below. Uh, Tiny Umbrella is a SHSH finder and a server that diverts Apple from letting you from not letting you downgrading and uh, you're gonna have to find your SHSH blob for 3.1.2 if you want to downgrade to that or for 4.0 and I'll show you guys how to do that you're gonna go to advanced options right there and then you're gonna go to where it says iPod touch 4.1 or request version and you're going to scroll up to 3.1.2 and you're going to press save my SHSH and right now what it's doing is it's asking Cydia for the SHSH blob for the iPod Touch second generation which is mine and it's going to try to find it but it won't be able to find it because I didn't save it which I think is what most of you guys' problem is but this is how you find your SHSH blob from Cydia and how you use it and how you uh, actually use it to downgrade. I'll have a downgrade video posted sometime later tonight, maybe tomorrow if I don't do it tonight. It's very simple because I can, I can actually downgrade to 4.0 because I saved my SHSH blob. But yeah guys, this is going to take a while. It's a good bit, good wait, but basically what it's going to say after it's done doing this is, here we go, see it does not have your SHSH blob for iPod Touch second generation, there is no way for you to get it them, sorry you are just too late, and it sucks because I can't ground, I down, downgrade to 3.1.2 so I can jailbreak it for 4.1, but there is going to be a 4.1 jailbreak coming out soon for the iPod second generation, hopefully. And right here, say I want to find 4.0. Press save. And it'll ask for Cydia again, and it'll end with a different result. Then Cydia does not have your SHSH. Yeah. Sucks, I know. And there it is. SHSH successfully saved. Like, for real? <laughs> kind of sucks, guys, but, you know. Then, if you want to look at all your SHSHs that you have, go into Display SHSHs. And I have 4.0, 4.0.2, and 4.1 for this iPod. So yeah, guys, I think this is basically your guys' error and why it didn't work. And, uh, sorry if it didn't work. I mean, it kind of sucks, but you know, it's what Apple is. But, um, now I'm going to actually show you how to downgrade your iPod directly from 4.1 to 4.0. So you're going to open up iTunes and you're going to go into your iPod right there. And you're going to hit actually guys, you're going to go into Tiny Umbrella and you're going to see where it says start TSS server and click on that. And right now what it is, it's diverting iTunes from actually get receiving the request to downgrade and it's going straight to Cydia. So now what you need to do is you're going to need to hit shift. I'll 
put my camera down, do this, hit shift, and then click restore. And you'll have a pop-up that comes up, and then you're going to have to find the firmware that you want to downgrade to. So open up that. 4.0 is what I want to downgrade to. And it says, I applied to iOS 4. Uh, restore. And open up that. And let it do its thing. You see it's extracting the software. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun, fun stuff. <laughs> I know this is very cinematic for you guys. But it's definitely worth it because you'll be able to jailbreak on 4.0. Every device. And, oh, I can't wait for iPod Touch 2 GMC models. Finally be jailbroken pretty soon. Extracting the software, and I believe here is where it diverts it from iTunes to Cydia, as you see. It's diverting it. Just divert it. And it's preparing iPod for a store, and your iPod goes blank. Restoring. Yay! Look at a restore. Isn't that amazing, guys? Most amazing feeling I've ever had. By far. Restoring iPod. Waiting for iPod. Here we go. So, yeah, guys, this is basically how you do it. It's not that hard. It's actually pretty easy once you um, get it done. And actually know how to do it, but you know, see, uh, Apple has to be gay and make it difficult for us to actually downgrade and upgrade and do all that crap. But what do you want? Should start loading soon, and it should start loading now. There it goes. Yeah, look at that camera angle. Boom. Pretty gangster. <laughs> oh, this video is getting too long. I'm thinking about cutting it right here and waiting for it to restore so I can show you guys it's on 4.0. But most of you guys probably won't believe me. It'll be like, oh, you didn't. Yeah, you just. Do it. No, no. It actually works. But I guess I'll just let it run. should be very quick, it's not going to take too long, hopefully, but you know, sometimes Apple's game makes it difficult for us jailbreakers, it likes to make things hard, makes it longer than it should be, <laughs> so yeah guys, well yeah, one, one uh, quick announcement, I've recently, I don't know if I've been accepted for partnership, but I've actually gotten 19 cents for my ads on one of my videos. It was actually the last video I just made. I got 19 cents in two weeks. Woo. Making the money. <laughs> but yeah, it's worth it. I mean, it's nice to have all you guys know exactly what you're doing. So yeah, don't screw up your iPod. Or iPhone, of course. This works for both iPhone and iPod. Make sure you find your, uh, or make sure you download the firmware that you actually want to downgrade to. I'll have a link to in the description for the firmwares that, or for the uh, download links for the firmwares. So you guys can download those firmwares and then uh, restore your iPod back to those firmwares if you save the SHSH blobs. Any questions, leave a comment down below. Make sure you all got, all you guys, make sure, I want to like I want to get to a thousand likes on this video. I want to see it. I want to see it happen. It's really simple. You just press a button. Like. Right there. And 
Um, basically, that's it, guys. I mean, you guys can subscribe to me if you really truly want to. That'll help me to get the partnership. But, I mean, you don't have to. It'll just be harder to find all the tutorials that I actually do and actually get them done right. And right now it's verifying off auto restore. It should load real quick. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck like it did before with me. Ooh, here we go. Come on. Bring me the money. Store my iPod firmware. Come on. You can do it. Oh, so close. It's getting up to 11 minutes. This is a long freaking video. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh. Right there. Come on. Not even that far. Just restore the iPod firmware already. Oh, there it goes. Yes. Look at that, guys. 4.0 iPod Touch, restored, restored, boom, 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 can't beat it, can't beat it, oh, I can't wait to jailbreak, I'm so pumped, Woo. hey guys, I'm actually thinking about getting an iPod Touch 4G, with the camera and all that, I'm actually thinking about it, kind of pumped to get one too pretty awesome oh there's me <laughs> come on load. there we go and if I'm wrong it should go straight to the home screen and it should I should be able to show you that's on 4.0 if it just freaking loads oh it'll connect to iTunes real quick come on come on do it connect to iTunes Thank you. I think. Did it work? There we go. Did it's a little bleep? Come on. 12 minutes. Nobody's going to watch this if it's too long. Come on. There we go. Oh. Hands starting to hurt. Oh. There we go. Let's check it, guys. Let's check it. And we're going to slide to unlock. And we're going to dismiss. And we're going to go to settings. And we're going to go into general. And about. And 4.0. Check it, guys. Check it. 4.0. Check, check, check it, check it. 4.0. <laughs> Alright, guys. That was a quick tutorial on how to downgrade and how to fix your 3194 error. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Actually, please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.